Welcome back, everybody. Sport Federation TV. We keep talking about sport in the province, across the districts, and uh, a number of different codes as well. Well, if you've been watching the Olympics, you would, of course, seen one of the big sports, big names, um, is, of course, uh, gymnastics. And gymnastics is no stranger to Sport Federation TV, where we, of course, talk about gymnastics on a regular basis. Of course, in gymnastics, a number of different codes as well. And it's always fascinating for me to to find out more about gymnastics and of course as we know gymnastics is very well organized in the western cape and across um the districts donna lowry is um a program manager for cape town gymnastics and of course they had a district event this past weekend donna is of course no stranger to sport federation tv and joins us back on the line donna nice to see you again hi jp nice to see you yeah, we haven't had you on the show now for a while. Of course, the uh, last we had, we we had you coming into the into the studio with all your medals and colours and um, athletes coming through the ranks. It's it has been now since a, a while since that um, gymnastics over the last uh, two years, of course, has been struck like everybody else with the uh, with COVID. But you guys have managed to to keep your members active and compete. Yeah, that's right. We've we've been lucky enough to be able to train. Um, most of the clubs are back up and running again. Um, and the gymnasts, the, the numbers have grown as well. And um, we even have a junior Olympic uh, girls training in the Cape Town Gymnastics um, District as well. Talking about the Olympics, have the athletes been watching? Were, were all your students glued to the TV screen when the, when the Olympics were on? For the yeah, gymnastics? They, they all want to be Olympians now and go to the Olympics. <laughs> so well, we've got a handful. You, you do. I mean, you got, you're quite involved with high performance uh, over the last few years. I mean, you've, you've got quite a lot of athletes that are coming through the ranks. We In Cape Town, we do. We've actually got um, quite a few high performance girls training now. Um, and we also have three girls who this year joined the Junior Olympics section um, for their age group. So we're quite excited that those three girls will be um, part of, hopefully, our, our SA team in the next couple of years. How does that work from an age group point of view? At which, how, how does one progress? I mean, we know that, that, that you guys start children at a very young age coming to your club and doing uh, um, various forms of gymnastics at the club. But how do the age brackets work? In, we work on... Um, we the Gymnastics Federation has different levels. So our level one to three is like mass participation um, and they can be any age from six to 18. Um, and then we have level four to um, Olympic entry, which is different. There's different levels, different requirements that the, the girls, I'm not talking um, women's artistic now, um, have to do on the different apparatus. Um, and then from there, we also have a high performance stream where you've got high performance one, which is like six and seven year olds trying to obviously the, the aim is now to get onto the SA team at a faster rate than what our levels program would do. Um, and then a junior Olympic is um, under 15 years old and then Olympic section will be obviously right. 16 and up. So if you're under under 15, you would join the junior Olympic section if you get to obviously if you can do all those specific requirements. So when we're watching it on TV or when we see a uh, pop in at a gym or we see things, pictures on Facebook or whatever, we see all these different apparatus, uh, athletes on rings, athletes on parallel bars, athletes on a pommel horse, athletes on a mat. You're, of course, involved in artistic gymnastics. Maybe just give us an explanation. What's the difference between um, artistic and, say, for example, rhythmic or these other very strong exercises okay so women's artistic uh, we work with the floor the vault the bar and the beam um rhythmic would then be the ribbons and more of the dancing the ribbons and the clubs and the hoops and the group exercises um you also get rope skipping we've got men's yeah. artistic which would then be the floor the vault um rings pommel p bar um, and floor um, so I'm focused, my focus in Cape Town is to just work on the women's artistic. So just basically right. making sure that the clubs are running with the, the, the right apparatus for uh, vault bar beam and the floor apparatus. All right. So when we see that on TV, we know we can talk about that as artistic gymnastics. That's correct. Yeah. All right. Now, you had a big event over the weekend. It was the district championships. Um, uh, how did that go? 
it went very well. It was actually so nice to be back on the competition floor again. Um, it was our level four to Olympic section. So we had to run it. It was run over two days and we had on the girls side 240 entries. Wow. Um, ranging from level four. And obviously there's different age groups. There's about four different age groups per level. Um, and then we obviously had our high performance girls as well. So there were 230 girls competed this weekend. How do you qualify for it? How do you get to the point where you have a, be able to be one of the 240? Um, that obviously it's a district trial. So the clubs would then select the children or the girls to compete. Um, and then at the district trials, we have a qualifying mark that we have to, um, that the, the girls have to achieve before they get selected to go to Western Cape champs. Okay. So do the coaches themselves look at their athletes and say, right, I think you've trained hard enough and you're, you're good enough to go. Do they, or, or is there a, another way of judging it? I think is different. I think clubs are a little bit different. Like for my club, I have my beginners, um, yeah. and then from there we move into intermediate, and then I will move them into the level one program, and then move them up from there. So it depends on what skills they can do. There's a lot of, of we have a lot of girls coming in that can do beautiful stuff on the floor, but then they can't swing on the bar or they can't work on the balance beam. So it's very, it's it's quite an intense sport, and it's not something that you can do, you can get straight away. It's, it right, will take right. a couple of years. Yeah, how much do you guys train in a week? Because, I mean, you're talking about different disciplines here, and I would imagine that you've got to think about all sorts of elements, like you've got to be strong enough to do it, you've got to be supple enough to do it, you've got to eat properly. <laughs> how much training do you guys actually do? Uh, well, it depends on the level. Um, there, there's some girls can, um, depending on the level, will train maybe only two hours a week or four hours. Normally, I would say four hours a week for our more level one to four girls. Yeah. Um, but as they increase, like our junior Olympic girls would train every day, Monday to Saturday, at least wow. three hours to four hours a day. So, of course, you had the best of the best then competing in the district this past weekend, uh, 240 athletes. Next event is now the Western Cape Championships up in Saldana, where you now have the best of the best from the province coming to compete. Um, what's that event going to look like? For sure, we don't. We, we haven't had one in such a long time. It's so exciting, actually. So there, I think there are because the other districts are quite. Um, the, the numbers are not as high. So I think yeah. altogether there's about 300 girls competing next weekend to make um, the team for the West uh, for Western Cape team to go to gym games in October. Will there be boys as well? The boys are also competing, that's right, yeah. Right. We had boys this weekend. We only, I think we had all together, I think there were about 60 boys doing a men's autistic in the level four and up section. Donna, it sounds like you guys have got your hands cut out for you. Um, I mean, sorry, your work cut out for you and that you need lots of hands. Or I'm, I'm assuming that uh, coaches and managers are all f pretty much focused now on preparation and putting this together. Um, the next event then, is it a question also of putting out, uh, setting up equipment and putting out mats and so on? There must be quite a lot of logistics that goes around into this. There is, there is a lot. I mean, last week, Thursday, we, I spent the whole day, we set up, setting up the gym hall for the competition. And then you've, the preparation beforehand is grouping every gymnast, making sure that you've got judges that are in the correct panels, that the panels rotate. Um, we've got timekeepers, um, there's people screening. There's so much that goes into beforehand and then obviously at the competition as well. So it's been quite, to half past 10, 11 o'clock, we, we're obviously discussing things at night with each other, the people yeah. involved. Because we're also coaching. So we're still coaching and preparing our gymnasts beforehand. So we're trying to do that in the day and then trying to do logistics stuff in the afternoon and the, e I mean, the mornings and the evenings. Donna, fantastic chatting with you again. Um, great stuff uh, to, to know that gymnastics is so active um, and I think it's a, maybe also an eye opener for many people that are watching the show right now just to know how much work you guys put in behind the scenes and we, of course we know that uh, Gymnastics South Africa, Western Cape Gymnastics, Cape Town Gymnastics and the districts as well, the other districts are really outdoing themselves with keeping the athletes on track. So well done to you and the team and we, we can't wait to see what comes from the provincial champs. Thank you so much. Thanks for inviting me. There we go, folks. Donna Lowry, uh, no stranger to Sport Federation TV um, and bringing the athletes through the ranks. Of course, a program director for, for artistic gymnastics in uh, Cape Town. And it's really great to see that, that our, our, our gymnastics structure is doing so well. No, no surprise. Again, have been doing for such a long time.
and looking forward then to the provincial championships up in Saldana shortly. We'll take an ad break when we come back from a break. We carry on talking about sport in the province. Back in a sec.